students isn't it cute seeing mother feeding her children you all know mothers are so caring even if we get a small wound mother gets restless so no matter if it's a mother of a cheek cub or a human baby they are all same loving caring and ready to do whatever it takes to safeguard her baby students today we are going to learn about this loving nature of every mother students our aim is to study the introductory information about necessity of reproduction and then to know about the animals that give birth to young ones so this is our aim having said that to start with the chapter animal how life goes on as i said we will be learning about the introductory part and how some animal give birth to young ones knowing about those animals so let us start living beings do not live forever we all know this they die after completing their life span and this is true for every living being for life to go on living things must produce more of their own kind they produce uh, the this process of uh, producing their own kind is called as a reproduction the process by which living beings produce more of their own kind is called reproduction this is a nest with the eggs so as you know the birds come out of this uh, eggs hatching the eggs and this is uh, one of the method of reproduction okay all the animals do not give uh, do not lay eggs some animals are there which give birth to young ones also animals reproduce in two different ways like i said some give birth to young ones whereas some lay eggs later on young ones hatch out from these eggs human beings cats dogs give birth to young ones like this one this is a picture of a dog and hens lizard ostriches fishes lay eggs out of which babies hatch so this is a picture of a ostrich some animals give birth to young ones now let us know about this these animals are called mammals animals which give birth to young ones and feed them on their milk are called mammals so the animals which give birth to young ones and feed them with their milk are called mammals they are most developed among all the animals their bodies are covered with hairs most of them example dogs cats elephant this picture is of the young ones of elephant humans etc etc then the smallest mammal is a kitty's hog-nosed bat so this is kitty's hog-nosed bat it is about 1 inch long and weighs only about 2 grams though bats fly they are also mammals some uh, might believe that bats are birds because they fly but the fact is no they are not birds they do not belong to the family of birds though they can fly but they are mammals because they give birth to young ones and they feed their young ones with the milk also the aquatic animals like dolphins whales though they look like fish they live in the sea but they are also mammals because they don't give they don't lay eggs they give birth to young ones then how they care about the young ones students mammals take care of their babies for a long period of time this is a picture of a tiger and her cub usually the mother cares for the young ones she feeds the babies clean them and keep them warm she protects them from enemies and this is true for each animal for every animal it is true every animal mother cares about their young ones while they grow the mother teaches them to find food and live on their own in certain mammals the father also helps he hunts for food and guards the young ones human beings are the only mammals who not only look after the children but their grandchildren too 
and you might be knowing this right so that was all for today the homework is you have to solve this fill in the blanks the process by which living beings produce more of their own kind is called dash second human beings cats dogs give birth to dash third in most of the animals usually the dash cares for the young ones fourth the smallest mammal is dash fifth hens lizard fishes lay dash out of which babies hatch students you have to solve this fill in the blanks they are really easy because we have already discussed these points in the session itself you can watch the video carefully and you will be easily able to solve these questions so that was all for today thanks for watching this session see you during next session with the new topic until then take care bye bye